You ever eat with a group of white people? Food be free. They be fighting over the bill, too. Tom, give me the bill, Tom. <laughs> you paid the last three times, Tom. Tom, give me the bill. <laughs> this guy. Tom, give me the bill, Tom. Put me in the prick, man. Just give me the fucking bill, bro. All right, now here's Uber money for everyone. I drove, but I took that Uber money. <laughs> Never go eat with a group of blacks. <laughs> Stressful than a motherfucker. I made the mistake one night of assuming the guy working the stand was Mexican. He wasn't. I even spoke Spanish to him, which is a no-no. The rule is, when engaging a brown person, you must speak English to them first, and then if there's a language barrier, then you go to Plan B High School Spanish. You start off in English. Hello, sir, may I? ¿Qué, qué? No entiendo. ¿Qué pasó? Oh, hold on. I got this. I got this. Hola. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> so I walked up to this guy at the stand, and I was like, you know, he reminded me of a tío. You know, so I was like, you know, hey, ¿qué onda, compa? ¿Cómo estás? And, which is like, hello, friend, how are you? And he responded, what are you saying to me? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, I thought you were Mexican. No, no, I am not a Mexican. I am not a Mexican. I am Greek. Greek? <laughs> Shit, I was way off. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, it's late, I'm tired. Can I have two tacos? What do you mean, can I have a two tacos? I just finished telling you, I am not a Mexican, I am Greek. I do not sell taco. I sell gyro. Gyro? And then I remember seeing writing on the front of the car, and I, I just thought it was like the guy's name or something, right? <laughs> I was like, it spells it out. G-Y-R-O. So, gyro. He got all pissy. It is not a gyro, it is gyro. That shit says gyro. It is gyro! Bro, I'm tired, it's late. What is a gyro? It's like a taco. You know when you're eating and you take like one extra bite too much and you can feel yourself gain weight because your bra gets tight? I call it the thickening. <laughs> and boys, you need to know about the thickening because so many of our behaviors as women, you're like, oh, she just went crazy. Everything was fine. No, it was the thickening. It's not you. <laughs> you brought us for a nice meal. It's not your fault. Every girl's been sitting there, you're like, I'm having the best time. And I, <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> and get me out of here. And you should know. Once the thickening happens, it's over. And it's nothing you did. We need to go to a safe space and eat more food, okay? That's what the thickening is. Why are we even talking about this? Let's get some ice cream and enjoy the day. <laughs> My wife uh, quit sugar in uh, January because she ate cookies, like a monster, <laughs> all through December. And on January 1st, came marching into the kitchen. That's it. I'm never eating sugar again. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and you're gonna eat more than you ever ate before. <laughs> and not because you're weak, but because you're a human being. And you get sad sometimes. And to stop yourself from slitting your own throat, eat a cookie once in a while. <laughs> I have friends in my life that don't eat bread anymore. They don't eat bread. They don't eat bread. <laughs> They're gonna lose three and a half pounds. No one's ever gonna know. And they don't eat bread. Why are you even here?